My research is in general fluid dynamics, aerodynamics. Telling you about a plasma lens, I'll tell you what the motivation is. Okay, so the motivation for this is to have optics which are adaptable so that we can take light source and we can correct the light source that becomes modified by going through other media with different indexes of refraction. In aerospace, there's the problem at which if you have an aircraft flying, and let's say the aircraft is carrying a laser, and the laser is used as a point-to-point -point communication. So it's important that the laser be able to hit a target, which is the receiver for the information. Adaptive optics is meant to, to correct that effect of, of the airflow over the surface of the aircraft. The issue is the correction has to happen very fast. The traditional way of adaptive optics is to use deformable mirrors. So mirrors that are thin in thickness and have little pistons attached and they distort the mirror, which then distorts the wave. They can only go maybe a thousand times a second. What we do with, with plasma adaptive optics is use the index of refraction properties of plasma to replace the, the deformable mirror and then be able to make these corrections a hundred thousand times a second instead of only a thousand times a second. We take a tube, a glass tube, and so the glass in this case is the dielectric. We have a tap in there where we can put gas inside the tube. Now we have a closed vessel and optical glass at the ends. We apply our AC voltage to these electrodes. It causes the air inside the tube to ionize so we can shine a laser through the tube, through the plasma. This is now a lens. We control the index refraction by controlling the electric potential. So the higher the electric potential, the higher the electron density, the more uh, index of refraction. Less voltage potential, less electron density, less index of refraction. Now you take one of those tubes and now arrange those into a whole group of tubes. So now you have a matrix of these tubes. The light comes in, we can control the index of refraction, any of them independently, so we can take and distort light as it goes through. What excites me most is really that it's interesting that this work is, is on the interface between aerodynamics, optics, and plasma. Always the interfaces are interesting.